Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about cardiac referred pain. What is cardiac referred pain? Okay, so we have pathology in the heart. Pathology in the wall of the heart. Okay. But we have pain in the arm, shoulder, jaw. So this is the perception of pain in the arm. In the upper part, middle aspect of the arm, in the shoulder, the jaw, around the temporal mandibular region. The pain perception is there, but there is no pathology. No pathology here. We have problem in our heart, but we feel pain in the upper part of the medial aspect of the arm, around the shoulder, maybe around the jaw, especially on the left side but maybe on the left right side also so idea is that we have some pathology in the wall of the heart but our brain interprets the the pathology or pain is coming from our body wall from our somatic part of the body from the upper part of the middle aspect of the arm from the shoulder from the jaw area this is called cardiac referred pain Okay, what is the mechanism of cardiac referred pain? So, idea is that, idea is that most commonly we will have blockage of the artery, the LAD, left anterior descending branch of the left coronary artery, or we also call it anterior interventricular artery, the most common artery may be blocked or it may be may be constricted it is its species is obstructed we might have angina pectoris or we might develop myocardial infarction okay due to blockage of the artery not only this artery maybe the right coronary artery okay maybe the circumflex artery or maybe all three artery may be blocked there will be ischemic condition of the cardiac muscle that may lead to either angina pectoris or may lead to severe condition that is myocardial infarction. But our brain interprets the pain is coming from the upper part of the medial aspect of the arm, from the shoulder, maybe from the jaw. Okay, this is called cardiac referred pain. Okay, so if we go there, so this is the left ventricle, so some artery has been blocked here, so the pain sensation is carried by the sympathetic nerve, okay, from the heart, heart, pain sensation is carried by the sympathetic nerve nerve so this is the sympathetic nerve carrying pain sensation going going through the sympathetic ganglion this is sympathetic ganglion and then it goes to sympathetic ganglion through the white tremor communicants then posterior route going to the dorsal gray horn so if we if we just draw the sympathetic nerve then through the through the sympathetic ganglion sympathetic ganglion then from sympathetic ganglion through the white rami communicants white rami communicants 
then dorsal root from there to the dorsal nerve root dorsal nerve root then dorsal gray horn dorsal gray horn of spinal cord of spinal cord okay so this is the way the pain fiber from the heart goes to the to the dorsal gray horn this is the dorsal gray horn dorsal gray horn of the spinal cord this is the white rami communicants white rami communicants communicants and these are the sympathetic ganglion like that this is sympathetic ganglion it is a part of sympathetic trunk sympathetic ganglion ganglion means collection of nerve so it does go through that without any relay and going to as a white rami communicants going to the dorsal nerve root then go to the dorsal gray horn okay so this is the way the nerve pain fiber from the heart goes to the dorsal gray horn okay so also from the somatic part of our body from the arm especially upper part of the medial aspect of the arm on the left side maybe from the jaw or temporomandibular region maybe the shoulder so here somatic nerve fiber go to the posterior posterior root ganglion here okay then here is the neuron then with that 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 nerve also from there it, it passes to the dorsal gray horn so dorsal gray horn is very important to us dorsal gray horn dorsal gray horn of the spinal cord of the spinal cord okay what happens there here the somatic nerve and the autonomic nerve the sympathetic nerve are coming together and going there this is the dorsal gray horn they mingle together they mingle by interneurons also we have the tract cell here okay so what happened dorsal gray horn to spinal cord the sympathetic fiber that carry pain sensation and the somatic fiber that is the body wall from the upper part of the middle aspect of the arm shoulder jaw somatic fibers fibers means nerve fibers sympathetic nerve fibers somatic nerve fibers fibers mingle together they are mixed okay mingled together together by interneurons inter neurons also called the tract cells okay so from there the nerve fiber will go out okay so what happened from there after mingling the nerve fiber ascent the nerve fiber nerve fibers ascent ascends through the through the anterolateral system anterolateral system where this is the anterolateral system anterolateral lateral system this is ascending tract lateral system it ascends 
to where? To the brainstem thalamus. This is the thalamus. Thalamus. Thalamus is important. It is a part of diencephalon. And thalamus is the sensory relay station. So there will be, here is the, here there will be relay here. Okay. The third order neuron is here. Here is the second order neuron. Okay. Here is the first order neuron. So here is the third order neuron. This is the thalamus. So system to the thalamus. We must remember that. Thalamus is a part of diencephalon. It is a great sensory relay station. From thalamus, who is part of the thalamus? To the BPL nucleus. What is BPL nucleus? That is the ventral posterior lateral nucleus. Ventral posterior lateral nucleus of thalamus. Okay. So from BPL nucleus of the thalamus, it goes where? To the post central gyrus. To the post central gyrus of the brain. Post central gyrus of the brain. Okay. Which represents the the, the upper part of the middle aspect of the arm, shoulder, and the, and the temporal mandibular region, jaw region, especially both sides actually, both left and right side, but in case of heart problem, left side is more prominent because heart is two-thirds on the left side, one-third on the right side. So this is the post central gyrus area. Okay, we have the central sulcus here. This is the post central gyrus. Here it goes here. Okay, so here it goes there and our brain interprets pain is coming from the arm, from the body wall, from the shoulder, from the jaw area. Our brain cannot interpret in most cases the pain, the pathology is here. Brain interpret pain in the upper part of the middle aspect of the arm. Okay. So, you can say here, the brain interpret the source of pain, pain from, from the upper part of the upper part of the medial aspect of the arm of the say left arm left arm or even shoulder left shoulder or left jaw okay so brain interpret this is a misinterpretation because this is not a site of pathology here pathology is here because of mingling of fiber in the dorsal gray horn of the spinal cord then it ascend and it go to the thalamus then post central gyrus this area is the sensory area of the brain the post central gyrus so the brain interpret pain is coming from the arm from the jaw but pathology is here there is no pathology here but brain interprets pain is coming from here this is called cardiac referred pain okay so we have another way for the pain fiber to go well here the sympathetic fiber these are the, no no the nociceptive receptors in the heart due to lack of blood supply Okay, there is some, some pain receptor here that is created by sympathetic nerve and somatic region go to the same spinal cord segment and there will be meaning of the fibers in the, in the dorsal gray horn. 
then it may go through the anterolateral most of the fiber go through the anterolateral system but some fiber may go through the reticular you can say spino reticular fiber spino reticular fiber okay then go through the reticulo reticulo fiber reticulo reticulo fiber okay fibers then it go through the reticulo thalamic fiber reticulo thalamic fiber reticulo thalamic fibers then which nucleus that is the intrathalamic nucleus intrathalamic nucleus then it should go to the post central gyrus like this area post central gyrus and our brain again this pathway again brain interpret pain is coming from here but there is no pathology here pathology is in my heart here but brain interprets pain is coming from here okay so this is another way for the for the passage of the pain sensation to the post central gyrus of the brain but most important is this anterolateral system okay so these are the way brain interprets so one more important point is that this is misinterpretation of the brain about localization of the site of pathology one problem is that there are less there are less nociceptors in the viscera okay or pain carrying receptors in the viscera okay so visceral pain we cannot pinpoint there is no two point discrimination in the visceral pain that is another another reason for non localization but most important point is that meaning of sympathetic pain carrying fiber with the somatic fiber in the posterior gray horn and it go to the brain through the thalamus and to the post central gyrus and our brain interpret pain is coming from the arm from the shoulder from the jaw not from the heart or maybe both may interpret this may interpret pain also here in the chest okay so this type of interpretation of pain from other side other than pathology is called referred pain in case of heart the left upper aspect of the medial part of the arm jaw left jaw is most common site of cardiac referred pain so that's all about our cardiac referred pain pathology here pain here if you have any question please feel free to ask me and please share the information with your friends and please subscribe my channel have a nice day bye now